This object, it's not very, very difficult, but it can be very tricky. And sometimes the, the solution, it's very simple. The, the first idea, of course, it's to extrude. And then the idea could be to use this arc to cut the, the section. This can look very simple, but it gives you some problem when you do the other leg because if you proceed in this way you will be in trouble in closing this area this center area the simplest solution can be to, to just fill the upper part if you do this here you get a hole with five sides and this is very difficult to fill and very difficult to close it's better to do face by face. Yes, this is true, but sometimes to keep the, the roundness, the round surface must be created as a, as a single surface, and then you have to cut that surface with the shape you, you want. Selecting this tree curve. The next step is to use the polar array Inside the transformation to make five copies of this leg. The next step is to creating the, the surface, and you can create the surface by selecting extruding it a little bit, just more than the upper curve. Now, what we have to do is to use these two curves to trim the higher part of the legs. The solution is it's simple because this object is an axial symmetrical object. It's symmetric along an axis. In fact, every kind of stars is axial uh, sym symmetrical. You can use these two curves to create a surface that cut the other by rotating that curve along the axis too. What you need for doing this exercise is the revolve option. So if you select the two, two curves and you press the revolve option, you can select the lower and the upper point of this line. And then here, say, full circle. This is the proper and the right solution for making this object. Selecting the upper disc, I can trim all the upper part. Doing in this way, the upper surface is made in a single surface. It's for sure perfectly continuous it absolutely has the same radius in all, all uh, sections so it's absolutely perfect the lower surface the lower uh, disc surface it's not extended enough because if you look here it doesn't uh, go outside the, the, the side surfaces and because of this, we cannot use this surface. Here, there's the extend tool. Using the extend tool, you can click the disk side. The surface, it, it extends. The, the number you are writing down, it's not really uh, the, uh, the length, the new length. It's, it's like, like a factor. We cannot cut the, the disc because here we do not have enough intersection. The cylindri cylindrical part doesn't really touch the, the disc part, so we cannot use it for cutting it. What we have to do is to create enough intersection. To extend the, this side of the cylinder 
uh, just a little bit and then use it for cutting the, the disc. surfaces to trim the lower disc this way this is the result you have to small area and with a very small uh, pieces probably it's better to select the upper surface and hide it and it's better to select all the uh, side surface in this way What we have to do now is to cut and to create the, the, the foot here. The next step is to create the, the foot here. You have to find this, this arc and what you have to do is extrude this arc, this arc higher enough to pass through the, through the uh, leg surface this way. Let's leave only this surface and cancel the other. The outside surface is, it was extended and because it was extended now I have to cut back on the original, original dimension. I always prefer to do a new line, a new horizontal line like this and then cut the surface Back in perspective, I can use this new cylinder to cut the, the inner part and on the other side I can cut, using this surface I can cut the upper part of the cylinder, this way. And to finish the foot I need lower surface, next would be to extrude this surface by 20, cap it by using the fry deck. We need to select all this group of surface you can redo the polar array again so you can use the selection surface selection to select all the surfaces and then pressing join you can join everything together next to the join doing the, the filleting Okay, if you remember, you must to join before doing the fillet and then as a solid tool you can use this tool, it's the fillet tool. What we have to do now is to select in the fillet tools 25 because the inside here are 25. Next step is to do the other, the other radius, it's 15 in this way and say enter and enter again.